Hey there! Did you know Kroger always gives you savings and rewards on top of our lower than low prices? And when you download the Kroger app, you'll enjoy over $500 in savings every week with digital coupons. And don't forget fuel points to help you save up to $1 per gallon at the pump. Want to save even more? With a Boost membership, you'll get double fuel points and free delivery. So shop and save big at Kroger today. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Savings may vary by state. Restrictions apply. See site for details. What if you could have a career where the opportunities are as vast as our nation? Where it's not about mission statements, but a shared mission. At U.S. Customs and Border Protection, we go beyond to protect more than borders. From ship to shore, air to ground, cities to local communities, CBP agents and officers are keeping people safe. Join U.S. Customs and Border Protection and go beyond for something far greater than yourself. Learn more at cbp.gov slash careers. C. C. O. O. Z. Z. Y. Y. W. W. O. O. M. M. B. B. Pocket. Pocket. I'm Shan. I'm Anya. Say Ari. Ari. (laughs) Welcome to Cozy Womb Podcast. Let's go. Hey, this is Shan. Mama the girls, thank you for checking in. If this is your first time at Cozy Womb Podcast, welcome. It's a very random but frequently posted show. Enjoy what you can when you can. It's for new parents. Y'all are very welcome. It's for a second, third, or more time around parents too. And I did not forget those of you who aren't quite there yet, haven't had your first kid, but you're thinking about it and you're just curious on what it takes to go ahead and survive the kids that you may make. Cool. Since we're all here, let's get into today's episode. Mom and dad, guess what? It is possible for y'all to keep a clean house with kids. It's possible. It's going to take a lot of work, but it's possible. If you are demonstrating a habit of cleaning up after yourself, not going to sleep until the place is clean, not going from room to room until you clean up this mess, not leaving the house until the house is clean, your kids are going to do the same thing. And when they don't do it or when you see that they're trying to leave from their room that's a mess to go watch TV and you don't stop them, you're building bad habits. Like, I personally hate being my age and going to the house of someone that's my age or around my age and their place is not clean or their place is not presentable for company. Why am I here? Like, why are you comfortable showing me your home the way that it is? And it's because whoever they grew up with did not demonstrate habits of you should be ashamed that your place looks like this and you have it company. Or you didn't even bother to clean up. That tells me your respect level for me as a person. So these are just some ways that you can have a clean house as a parent with kids, whether they're there or not. I preferably like to clean my house, like deep clean my house on Sundays at night before I go to sleep when my kids are already in bed because they're out the way. That requires me wiping down knobs, chairs, tables, light switches, um, the refrigerator, the counters, the bathroom, their room, lifestyling um, toys, toy boxes, uh, washing whatever toys I can wash, you know what I'm saying? Um, spraying down, disinfecting the chair, spraying down, disinfecting um, the floors. I like to mop my floors at night because they're not walking around on them and getting dirt on them and getting their footprints on the floors. And those are the type of things that are going to keep a lot of germs outside of your house, okay? Another thing that everyone should be doing, especially if you have any kids that are crawling around on their hands and feet, make sure your kids remove their shoes, okay, at the door. I have a basket at the front door where my kids could put their shoes in, especially if you have a doormat. Make sure you dump the dirt out of there. You sweep the floor every day. I probably sleep 
the floor three times a day, okay? Especially because I have a two-year-old and every time she eats, something has to be on the floor. When you reheat food, make sure when you're at home, you do it in a Pyrex dish or a, a plate not the plastic the plastic when it gets to a certain amount of heat with your food in it it starts to give out chemicals all right it's already bad that you're microwaving food you're adding chemicals to your food when you do it in plastic read the labels and ingredients that you have in products that you're using okay if you can't spill it the odds of thing is you don't need it all right you don't need to be smelling it and i'm big on smells i've been trying like the smarter um more environmental friendly uh cleaners they take some getting used to but when all fails lemon juice and um vinegar to wipe things down and Clorox wipes, okay? What else? Try uh, some soy candles or organic candles. Whenever your kids come in the house, whatever you do, when you're dealing with food, touching things in your house, and kids, wash your hands with soap. There's soap in my bathroom. There's soap in my kitchen. There's um, dishwashing soap. There's Clorox wipes in the bathroom. There's Clorox wipes in the kitchen. There's Clorox wipes in my car. Like, I wipe everything down because it's just easier to throw away. Lysol wipes are also good, too. The best thing you could do with that is look for coupons where you can buy more for less. Um, As far as, like, wiping down floors, I already talked to you about that, but that's very important. If you have carpet, you need a deep carpet cleaner right next to the vacuum. There's no exceptions. When you have kids, spills can happen. You're gonna get a lot more traffic. They're gonna be on the floor more than you. Your white carpet is gonna completely be a different color probably. I used to deep clean um, my carpet at my old house uh, probably twice a month. I lived in that house for like four and a half years. And I guarantee you, my carpet was looking better than uh, a brand new carpet that was laid in somebody's house. Because I kept it clean. Because I made sure nobody was walking through the house with shoes. Because I made sure that, um, you know, I moved around the furniture a lot. So a lot uh, of places wasn't getting a lot of traffic. But where in your house that gets a lot of traffic would be the kitchen to the living room if you have carpet, or the front door into the house if you have carpet. You know, any entrance way is gonna get a lot of traffic, and so I always make sure I shampoo the carpet. Um, toys and handles, wipe them down, okay? Clean them, clean places where you never thought you had to clean. Dust corners, um, dust behind beds, you would be Amazed what you can find behind the kids' bed. Move around your own furniture in your room. Don't ever let like your furniture get really um, complacent in your house because then you're gonna end up with marks either in the carpet or on the floor or on the walls because something is pressing too hard against it or something. Um, change your air filters in your house. I change my air filter in my house about um, every two and a half months. And you will be amazed at the dust that accumulates from the air being on or the heat being on and people just being in the house. If you clear that out, um, you're going to have lower allergy problems, less sneezing, less coughing. People are going to be less sick in the house. So always change your air filter. I usually try to buy two at a time instead of buying one every two and a half months because a lot of times you forget. Open your windows in the springtime. Open your windows when it's changing from summer um, into fall because your place needs to circulate better air. And I'm not saying the air outside is better because Lord knows the air in New York is not the best. The air um, in uh, inner city Philly is not the best. But whenever you can open your windows, I prefer like early in the morning. Um, Open your windows. Get some fresh air in your house. Get some plants in your house. Um, When I'm leaving, 
I move my plants closer to like the window so they can get sunlight. When I come home, I put them back where they were supposed to go. Um, also, I did say move around furniture. Move around your furniture. You know, move around your kids' stuff in their room. Um, take things out of the room. Put things in new rooms just to make your place feel just uh, aesthetically better, more open, more space. Like, you never know what can help you have a better day. And if it's your things, move it around. And last but never the least, don't hate on it, purge, okay? The odds are, after a while, your kids don't need all those toys. After a while, your kids don't need those books that y'all read five times. After a while, your kids don't need those games that they don't really play with. Um, The clothes that they grew out of. Are you having another baby in the next uh, four to five years? No? Then go ahead and donate that stuff. Donate it. Don't throw it away. Don't make it be in a trash pile somewhere. Donate it. You have Once Upon a Time that'll take it. Play-Doh's Closet that'll take it. Um, a lot of uh, second-hand shops that'll take it. Goodwill that'll take it. Um, thrift shops that'll take it. Like, come on. Donate that stuff. Um, that's about it that I got for you guys with the clean house. Just make it a habit. I don't like wash rags or wash cloths. Um, because I feel like they just drag over germs. I change my sponges, uh, every two weeks that I wash dishes with. I prefer to wash dishes by hand because that's when I know it's clean. Um, I, I've never used my dishwasher in my house ever. Um, I wipe behind, uh, appliances. I wipe down my, uh, stove every night. I wipe into my sinks. I wipe them out. Uh, Same thing with the bathroom. Sometimes you got to take down things. Sometimes if uh, things in your linen closet have been sitting there for a while, you just got to rewash it just so you could get, uh, you know, a clean smell, a clean feeling from the things you have in there. Just be more proactive about the things that your kids use every day and the things that you use every day. Your toss pillows, I clean the covers of those. I clean the pillows that don't um, have any covers on them. Put them in the washing machine. I wash stuffed animals. I wipe down books. I wipe down mirrors. I hate to go into people's houses and they have um, their kids' handprints all over their mirrors. See, being a parent is a lot of work. It's just that people don't really think about the things that they use every day in order to keep it clean. But it is possible to have a clean house so your kids can have some clean habits. So when they go off to college or they get their own place or they're adults in their life, nobody has to say, who raised you? Because I know my girls are going to be cleaning, okay? I know my girls are used to having a clean house. Um, Other than that, y'all be great. You're doing a great job. Continue the parenting. Bye. Bye. Hey there. Did you know Kroger always gives you savings and rewards on top of our lower than low prices? And when you download the Kroger app, you'll enjoy over $500 in savings every week with digital coupons. And don't forget fuel points to help you save up to $1 per gallon at the pump. Want to save even more? With a Boost membership, you'll get double fuel points and free delivery. So shop and save big at Kroger today. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Savings may vary by state. Restrictions apply. See site for details. Every day, we rise, challenging ourselves to work for what we believe in. At U.S. Border Patrol, protecting our borders is more than a job. It's a calling. Agents answer the call, working together to keep our country and communities safe. If you are ready for a new mission, join U.S. Border Patrol and go beyond. Learn more at cbp.gov slash careers.